Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. This is gonna be verse one, picture of a frame uh, by Tom Waits, arrangement by someone else, Kyle Reed in particular. Uh, and so basically I played a version of this a few weeks ago uh, and I thought it'd be really nice to do a lesson on how to play it um, because you know, I'm a guitar teacher so that's the kind of thing I think is nice. Uh, so this is the verse. Effectively the chord sequence is relatively simple in this song um, so we're adding in the melody and the bass as well as the chords to make it sound really interesting. There's a couple of tricky chords um, but it's not too bad, it's more just a, a quite difficult to remember and to get it nice and smooth. Most of the time, okay, I'm going to be thumb on my right hand, my picking hand. Thumb is going to do the low notes, E, A and D, as in low E. Index on the G, middle on the B, ring on the high E, okay? When it's not that, there are a few occasions in this section I will always mention so. Sometimes obviously I'm gonna strum it just with my thumb to get that softer sound as well. I'm gonna uh, make sure that I mention all of those. So that being said, the next thing you'll hear is me playing through this first verse. Probably a little bit slower than I played it through in my other version. Obviously down below I'll link um, the arrangement uh, by Carl Reed and my version and the first lesson which is to the intro. Um, but yeah, let's just crack on and do it. Okay guys, so that was our first verse. So let's crack on and go through that, put my T down. So things are getting serious. We start with an E chord, just a normal E. I'm gonna strum that down with my thumb. Then I'm gonna hit what effectively is a power chord really. It's open E and the A string and maybe the D. And I'm actually really just flicking that with my, with my nails, more like that kind of a thing. You can flick it with your thumb if you prefer though. So thumb, flick, yeah, something like that. Then high E with my ring finger, open obviously. Then we're gonna to go to this, um, so it's a, a, like a D shape, E7 chord. So I'm gonna play, I'm gonna bar, but I'm not really gonna bar, I'm just gonna play second fret D string, then I'm gonna play third fret on the B with my middle finger, and then fourth fret on the G and the high E. I'm gonna uh, play that with my fingers. So I'm gonna go thumb, index, middle ring, like that. Uh, then I'm going to strum it with my thumb. So it sounds very different, doesn't it? So you've got that kind of... Then I'm going to play second fret on the high E string. I just flatten my first finger down for that. And on the right hand, that's the ring finger. Normal A chord, just a normal A major. Strum it with my thumb. Then the high E. E6. So with the E6, it's basically an E normally, but you have your pinky extra on the second fret on the B string. If you've played, uh, what's the Radiohead song? Fake Plastic Trees, that one, that's in there. It's like the fourth chord of the song. Um, yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm getting completely distracted working out what number chord that is in the song, but that doesn't matter right now. Um, E6, that's the chord, so it's an E, blah, super close up, but then my pinky's on that note there, down there, okay, which is a, that's right, C sharp. So, uh, which is obviously the sixth of E. I'm gonna play that there with my, the, the, the thumb on the E. Index on the D, and then I'm gonna play uh, middle on the G and ring on the B. Now yes, that's madness, surely, but no. I need it so that I can play it like separately. So I go thumb, index, middle, ring. <laughs> So basically the thumb is doing the, the root note, the E, and then everything else has moved up one string. So my index was normally be on, on G is now at D, etc, etc. So I end up playing E, D, G, and B. Then open B, which I'm actually gonna play with my ring finger. You could justifiably move your fingers back down there, but it's quicker and easier to not do that, so I don't. Another one of those little taps with my fingernails which is quite often just an E, but it can be a, a second fret A as well, so I've got to keep the, the shape down. 
Then this really nice walk into a B7, love this. Um, makes me think of... Uh, anyway, it's a different song again, I'm getting distracted today. Uh, what we're gonna play are A string, open one, two. You wanna make sure that two, you end on your middle finger so that you can then play the rest of the chord with your other fingers. D string one, G string two, and then we're gonna play the B and high E at the same time. So it's open B, second fret high E, if you know your B7 chord. Second fret high E, then strum the chord with your thumb. Then a little tap with your fingernails. That was rubbish, but you get the idea. That sounds nicer. Um, and then I'm going to then play, take my hand off basically so I can adjust it. Open high E, second fret high E. And then we're gonna play second fret on the high E and second fret on the G. I'm gonna to slide to four and back again. This is one of the bits that I can't quite get to sound exactly the way as the, the guy who did this arrangement, Kyle Reed, did. So I've kind of slightly changed it to one that works for me. So feel free to have a listen to his original if you like it, if you prefer that and have a little go, trying to get it to sound a bit more like his. So I'm gonna play those second fret G and E, slide to four and then back to two. Open high E, open B. Second fret G, first fret G, second fret D, open E. Okay, so I've gone through that relatively quickly. We've still got a little bit more to go through, um, but let me just play through that first half basically, nice and slowly. Is it first half? Yeah, roughly first half. Nice and slowly for you, starting with that E chord, strumming with your thumb. Rather embarrassingly, I didn't play that that well, but you can at least hear what I'm trying to do. So we just played that open E. That gives us a chance to shift our hand up. So now we're going to be more at this position here. So this is the this is the C shape E chord, which we touched on last time. We're going to do a lot in this song. Um, so we're going to play. I'm barring with my first finger, I'm going to play. Basically, I'm playing the G and the high E on fourth fret, but I actually hold the D as well, just because I find it easier. Um, but I don't need to, I just that's how I like to play because I find it easier. Middle finger then on the uh, B string 5 and your ring finger on D string 6. We don't need the pinky on right now. And I'm going to strum that with my thumb. 7 on the high E, which uh, I've actually got my pinky down there as you can see. Obviously picking it with my ring finger. It's all pretty standard uh, picking apart from of course that one time which I've already mentioned. Then it's a low E hit, uh, again in the original arrangement uh, by Kyle Reed, not the original, but the arrangement by Kyle Reed. He does a much bigger strum of a chord, more like that. I do not, um, okay, but I just do a, like a low E. So you can choose, again, that's a, that's a little bit of your choice, really. Uh, so after the seventh fret, that kind of open high E, uh, sorry, open low E, low E, fourth fret high E, then this chord here, really, really, really cool chord. So I always think of this because obviously this is a B note, the, this seventh fret on the D. I always think of it as a kind of B chord. So <clears throat> yeah, that's it's it's a really, really cool sounding chord. It's nine on the D, seven on the G, and then nine on the B in the high E. I like to strum that with my thumb. You don't necessarily have to. You can strum it more with your fingers or, or pick it, but I like that with my thumb. Flatten that first finger down to grab the seven on the high E. Low E, if you want it. Not necessary, but it is nice if you do. Uh, nine on the B, seven on the B. A, so I'm playing an A triad there. Five on the B, six on the G, seven on the D, with an open low A. I'm gonna strum that with my thumb. Repick the B string five, and then I'm gonna do a D nine. I'm not actually playing the root there, because the root would be that note there. So I'm not playing that. I'm playing fourth fret on the D, fifth fret on the G, the B, and the E. Strum that with my thumb. I like to then hit the D string again. Sorry about that. Um, so we've just, oh yeah, we've just strummed our D nine, uh, D string, 
four, obviously. Then I'm gonna play the B and the G, which is gonna be five and five. Then stretch my pinky up to seven on the B, so it's now five on the G, seven on the B. Go back to this E shape that we talked about before, which is six on the D, four, five, four. I'm gonna pick this um, as I did previously, thumb on the low E, then I'm gonna have first finger on the D, middle finger on the G, ring finger on the B. Seven on the high E, low E, four on the high E, five on the B, then I'm gonna play uh, a B slash D sharp, yeah, B slash G D sharp, which is gonna be a four on the A, and then I'm gonna bar, no, six on the A, I'm gonna bar four on the D, the G, and the B. I'm gonna play the A, the G, and the B, so that's six on the A, four on the G, and the B. G again, four, four on the D, four on the B. Back to this shape here, but I'm gonna just bar with my fourth fret, um, that same triad basically, which is gonna be fourth fret on the D, the G, and the B. But now the hand again shifts, so thumb on the E, index on the D, middle on the G, ring on the B, and I'm gonna play them separately and hammer on to that E chord. So I'm gonna hammer on to fifth fret B and sixth fret D at the same time. Seven on the D, four on the G, and then play the chord again, which is open, open E, uh, sixth fret D, so my, that pinky's come off, uh, fourth fret on the G and fifth fret on the B. And that's the end of verse one. So let me play through the second half of that nice and slowly. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope um, some of you guys enjoyed this, found it useful. Um, to be honest, it's just a really fun song to play. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully you guys are getting some enjoyment out of it. Uh, yeah, so verse one, done. So intro and verse one. Next thing, it's, you'll never believe this. Yeah, verse two. Uh, very, very different in, in the arrangement in terms of how we play it. So this one's more kind of being more kind of traditional how you think of these versions play where you're playing a bit of bass and a bit of the chord and a bit of the high bits the next version is a bit more lower in, in pitch so that's really cool uh, I'm getting digressing again so as usual I'll do my spiel at the end please uh, like the video comment on the video uh, subscribe to the channel check out all my social medias and all those different bits and pieces I really really appreciate it if you do and it does really help okay um, and uh, oh, I've gone, gone off track now, I've lost it now. So uh, yeah, do all those things um, and I hope you guys are okay. I hope you guys are well and doing okay in this very weird time. I know pre predominant, predominantly my viewers are English, um, or from the UK I should say, um, according to the, the, uh, the YouTubes. So uh, you guys are in lockdown like me, so hopefully you're all okay looking after yourselves. Um, and uh, yeah, I wish you all the best and of course, I'll see you guys again soon for some more cool guitar stuff. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.